Ha! Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha. Today, we have another Power Rangers review for you, and this is exciting. This is, I believe, the first review that I am doing for Season 2 of Power Rangers Beast Morphers. That's right. Couple things to process there. Beast Morphers Season 2, I believe, is just going to be called Beast Morphers. Um, there's no super anymore or anything like that, so it's just straight, just Beast Morphers Season 2. There it is. Beast Morphers. Just plain and simple. The way that you know that the packaging is Season 2 related as well, uh, kind of interesting, uh, the Saban in the Saban's Power Rangers logo is gone now from the packaging. So all of the new Season 2 stuff seems to, I guess, no more Saban in the logo. Um, so yeah, so if you see anything on the store shelves without that, now granted they may re-release older stuff, like I think I, I saw somebody say that they might release the uh, the the saber, um, that the electronic uh, beast deck saber. Uh, so that might be without the logo. So that doesn't mean it's anything different. But uh, any kind of re-releases or new releases are without the Saban logo. But anyways, this is the Beast X King Morpher. And here's the deal. I haven't watched um, Go Busters, or at least I watched only the first few episodes. So I don't know if this is a thing in the Sentai. I don't think it is. Because I believe what they are showing here <laughs> is a an original contraption. Basically, there's a Beast X Red Ranger, which I'm going to be reviewing soon, and a Beast X Blue Ranger and a Yellow Ranger. Um, I know that there was a power-up in the Japanese show, um, but I get it all mixed up as far as what's Japanese or what's not, what's original. So I'm sure you guys will let me know. But regardless, this is, I guess, the morpher they're going to use um, for the power-up mode. I guess we're going to find out. The show, as of the recording of this video, hasn't aired Season 2 yet, so we don't know. Um, but I believe this is an original. Uh, if anything, the Morphex keys are certainly an original, and so a uh, very original concept regardless. So I'm very excited about it. This does have motion sensitivity. Um, it does read the, the Morphex keys, and really cool artwork too there. Um, really, really neat of the, the Beast X mode. So here it is. And so I guess when you insert the Morphex key, some stuff kind of pops out like that, which is interesting. Um, here you have, uh, I think this is called the Beast X King Megazord, the Beast X King Morpher. I think that's the Beast X King Megazord. I guess we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Um, but there it is right here. Activate Beast X mode. So 20 plus sounds and phrases. So. <coughs> here it is. I'm excited. We're going to do a comparison of this and the Beast X Morpher, um, and also the Morphex keys and seeing how they differ in this Morpher versus the older one as well, if there's any new sounds or, or what the deal is. So uh, without further ado, let's get this open and take a look. All right, here it is. This is the Beast X King Morpher out of the packaging, uh, and it's it's pretty neat. Um, it's very similar to the Beast X Morpher in terms of the types of functionality and, and what it does. There are some different sounds, which is nice. Uh, would have been a bit of a bummer if it was like all the same. Now granted, there are a lot of similarities, but uh, enough differences that I feel like it is worth getting and, and trying out the Morphex keys and, and it's kind of fun. So um, let's take a quick look at the Morphex key first before we dive into it. So I don't really know the name of this Morphex key. We'll just call it, I guess, the Beast X King Morph Key because it came with the Beast X King Morpher, I don't know. Uh, but here it is right here. Um, and just like with any of them, you know, this can rotate in like that. You can also attach this to any of the action figures if you would like. And obviously it, it mirrors the, the Morpher to some extent. So it's kind of neat. Uh, the Morphex keys are always, are always a lot of fun. Uh, here is the Beast X King Morpher. Um, yeah, really interesting. I, I definitely like the look of the regular Morpher more. Uh, this one looks more like a toy versus, I mean, I know this is a toy, but it just, it looks more like a, like a spy gadget type thing, you know, just the, it, it's, it's really interesting design. This one's, this one is just more traditional Power Rangers, I kind of feel like, you know, uh, so it's very, very interesting. Um, but uh, yeah, here it is right here. And just like with the, the other Morpher, you have this the strap right here that you can use to, to wear it. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it like this, but there it is. Um, and yeah, basically there's uh, some lights 
that you'll see from the eyes and then from the top here. So this part is a button, this is a button as well, um, and this actually will, as you'll see, either inserting a Morphex key here or pushing the button will make the, the different flaps pop open like that, so that's what it looks like, and then this can fold down. The one other thing to note is this actually does go down a little bit too. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to or not. It doesn't seem to automatically pop up or not like that. I don't know if it's supposed to stay down like that. It looks like it's not because there's like a little connector there. So I don't really know. I just leave it up. But in case you want like the mouth to look a little bit more open, I guess that's a thing. So just FYI on that. Um, all right, so uh, here's what I'm gonna do. So let's let's talk through all using the, the included key. We're gonna talk through the, the Morphex key functionality. Uh, and, and what it does with this morpher. And then I'm gonna talk about this Morphex key with the regular, the original morpher. And then we're gonna get into all the existing Morphex keys with this new morpher. So we, we have a lot to get through, so let's jump right to it. Um, so let's turn this thing on and you'll get this. Oops, give me one second. There's an on off switches on the back, so. There you go, that's the sound you get. I'm gonna turn it off, turn it on again so you can start to see what the LED looks like there, and then from the top as well. So, pretty cool, so you can see it from the eyes and the top. And um, as is, there's a couple things that you can do. Um, so what you can do is you can push the, the button here. And that's pretty cool, you get that little snippet of the theme song, which is awesome, I love it. Um, and it cycles through random sounds, some you may have already heard in the B-Sex Morpher and some new. Rangers, it's go time! That's an old sound. Rangers, power up! That's new, and that actually sounds uh, like the Red Ranger from the show. So I think, I think maybe that was Devin's voice. Let's go! That's not. Go, go, power Rangers! Theme song again. That definitely sounds like Devin's voice. So I think they actually used lines from the show in the Morpher, which is awesome. But I have mixed feelings about parts of it, and 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 you'll you'll find out why as we continue this video. I think there's there's snippets of Devin's voice, and I think you can also hear Zoe's voice in one instance, but I don't hear Robbie's voice at all, which is really odd, and some other ones. Unless I'm doing it wrong, but let's just see if there's any other sounds here. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, so as you see, all the sounds give just that sort of green light, except the red light also comes when the Go Go Power Rangers comes. Let's go. So only that light. Then you get the, the fancier lights. So the other thing that you can do is uh, you can push this. That's pretty cool. So that's basically like morphing uh, and uh, when you plug in the, the key. And with this open, Let's go. It's time. the sounds stay the same, but here you also get different sounds. I don't know what that says, that like robotic sounding voice. I've been trying to figure out what it says, but I can't tell. So let's cycle through it again. There's a couple of roars and then you'll hear it. Here it comes. I really don't know what that says. I don't know. So let me know if you guys can figure that out. Uh, but there's that. Then the other thing that you can also do um, is you can also, it's motion activated, right? So. So it says activate Beast X mode, and that sounded like Devin, which is really cool. Virus eliminated. So there you go, virus eliminated. I think that's it. Okay, so now that I've shown you all the stuff you can do without the Morphex key, um, now let's insert the Morphex key and see what happens.
So you kind of have to hold, make sure, you know, if it's on your arm, you're not gonna be holding the sides. But if you don't have it on your arm, you don't wanna hold the sides down because these are gonna pop out when you put the morpher in, just like when you push the button. So I'm just gonna, actually, I'll just hold it from the back like this. So here we go. So, okay, so a couple things there. So first of all, the Morphin Time, it's Morphin Time, we heard it uh, earlier. It's Devin's voice, which is awesome, and the music from the show, super, super cool, I love that. Uh, that like weird robotic sounding thing, Activate Beast X Mode, I, I, I don't know whose voice that is, or if it's just for the toy or what, it's very interesting sounding. Um, but with this plugged in, you get some sounds. It says Defenders of the Grid in that robotic voice, which is very interesting. And then it's Morphin Time in the robotic voice. So I don't know what, what that voice is supposed to be or what, I don't know. Okay, the rest is all the same. You can still get the same roaring sounds and that, you know, by pushing the button at the front. And that weird sound, I don't know what it is. Uh, and then, of course, you still have the motion activation. Activate beat mode. And. Virus eliminated. So, no matter whether you have the key in or not, the motion activated sounds uh, appear to be the same. So, you take it out and you get that sound there. Um, so that is the sounds that that makes in the Morpher. Um, yeah, not too bad, very similar to the, the B6 Morpher, except there's no yelling, it's Morphin time to activate it. The Morpher just says it's Morphin time in Devin's voice. Um, so if you're wondering then, does it, you know, what does this do in the original Morpher here? Let's bring this in. And also keep listening because after a while this might make a sound like a going to sleep sound. Um, and there you go. Perfect timing. That's the sound it makes when it goes to sleep. Um, so anyways, we have our morpher here. And uh, this, I, I want to point something out actually before we even begin. The morpher came with a special like trial thing, right? Trial key. This red key was the same as the Red Ranger key, right? Okay, the green key was the same as the blaze key. So you had a villain key as well. But then we were left with this mysterious orange key and we didn't know what it was and it made a generic Defenders of the Grid sound. Sorry, that was this more for powering down. It made a generic Defenders of the Grid sound and none of the existing keys matched it. Well, guess what? This matches it. So if you wonder what sound the Beast X Morpher makes with the new key, you already know, you already have the key. It is the same thing um, right there, just different color, but the same uh, pattern on here. And it says, just like it said in this Morpher, Defenders of the Grid. So let's do it. Defenders of the Grid. There you go. It's Morphin time. Let's go. And then, you know, same old stuff there. So I'm not gonna spend much time on that. Let's turn this off and move it to the side. Um, but yeah, there's that. So that's that question. But of course, the question that you're probably wondering is, what about all the other existing keys in the new Morpher, right? So we have all of the Rangers right here, right? We have um, the, the power-up mode for the Red Ranger. We have all of the, the Beast bots, of course. Uh, and we have all of the, the villain keys. So we have a lot of Morphex keys. We're gonna go through all of them. So if, if, you're, if you're done watching this video, if you don't care about all these sounds, you got a good idea of what this Morpher includes. And I think it's pretty neat. I think if you only want one Morpher, I would personally pick the Beast X Morpher because I kind of like it a little bit better. Um, and this is very similar in terms of the, the types and numbers of sounds that you get out of it. <clears throat> but if you already have the Beast X Morpher, this is not completely the same thing. You do get a couple of new sounds, which are nice. So anyways, let's jump right in. Let's start with the Red Rangers uh, Morphex key right here. Whoops, sorry. 
Just like the B-Stacks Morpher, sometimes it's a little picky. You gotta like make sure you get it in straight. So, you get a Cheetah Beast Power Red, and it sounds like Devin, which is cool. Activate Beast X mode! And that as well sounds like Devin. Rangers, it's go time! And then we're back to the generic sounds. Cheetah Beast Power! Red! It's Morphin time! So, pretty cool. Um, the rest of the sounds... There's nothing else too, too fancy or special about it. So, there's that. Um, now, let's take the Blue Rangers key. And this is where I'm a little bit annoyed. Listen carefully. It's Morphin Time! Blue Ranger Power! So, Devin's voice says it's Morphin Time. And then the Blue Ranger Power doesn't exactly sound like Robbie. It sounds kind of more generic. So I don't think it's his voice. Let's, let's keep listening. Don't worry, Smash. I got this. It kind of sounds like Robbie, but it, it, it almost sounds like an imitation of Robbie. And I think that sound was in the original Morpher 2, maybe. Rangers, power up! And then generic sound. I don't know. That, that doesn't sound like Ravi to me. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is. But it just doesn't sound you know, like him. Let's go! Don't worry, Smash. I got this. Like, the don't worry, Smash, I got this, like, it mm, is a maybe. It's a toss-up. I don't think it is, but it, it could pass as him, maybe. But the annoying part is the it's Morphin Time is in Devin's voice. And the only reason I'm annoyed by it is the inconsistency, because if every Morphex key had Devin's voice, okay, whatever, they had one sound clip. But here's the thing, while the red one has his voice and blue doesn't have Ravi's voice, guess what? The yellow ranger does have Zoe's voice. So, okay, it's awesome, don't get me wrong, it's awesome to have Zoe's voice, and I guess it's cool to have, I guess maybe they picked, I, I think the idea is they probably picked one guy voice and one girl voice, um, but then the one guy voice only applies, like there's multiple guy rangers and it doesn't apply, and it's just, that's kind of annoying. Um, but then also they followed up with the generic sounding voice, which, so it's a little, throws you off a little bit, like, I don't know. <clears throat> like, that's a generic voice there. Rangers, it's go time! Jackrabbit, beast power! Yellow! This is all generic. And then Devin's voice, for whatever reason. You messed with the wrong ranger! So the only time you get Zoe's voice is right when you insert the morpher. Yeah. Whoops, hold on. Did it not work? <laughs> Sometimes it's a little finicky. Ready? And... It's Morphin Time! See? Zoe's voice, and then generic voice coming up. Jackrabbit Beast Power! Yellow! So, honestly, that kind of annoys me more than if they... didn't include the... I don't know, like, I, the inconsistency kind of annoys me a little bit more. Alright. So, let's jump into the other rangers. I actually have not tried all of these keys, so I don't know for sure. I did try silver, I believe, um, and I think I had Devin's voice, but I don't think I tried gold. So let's just jump into that. Maybe it'll have Nate's voice and I'll be surprised. It's nope, Devin's voice. I, th mm, I don't think that's 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 Nate's voice. I think that's generic. Phenomenal. Oh man! Although that could pass as him. I Let's go. Gold Ranger Power. Rangers Power. Phenomenal. I don't. Mm, I'm erring on the side of that not being his voice, but I will say, at least that one is is very close. I do feel like. 
Um, all right, now let's get to the Silver Ranger. Again, Devin's voice. I'm half human, half robot, and totally awesome. Same voice clip from the regular Morpher. Beast Morphers, let's go. Okay. And then Devin's voice again. All right, we get it. So, yeah, um, I don't know, I'm a little annoyed at those inconsistencies, but then we also have the, uh, the Red Ranger's key in the Red Fury mode, I believe it was called. So uh, I actually haven't tried this one in this Morpher yet, so let's see what it does. Okay, well, that's a generic voice. All right. Let's go. Yeah, we clocked it. Rangers, it's go time. Eh, all right. That's kind of lame, but it is what it is. All right, let's jump to the beast bots now. So let's look at a uh, uh, cruise. I don't think that's his voice, but they, they did a good job with his, at least, making it sound similar. Uh, all right, let's look at Smash. So again, all of them seem to be Devin's voice. I'm wondering if Jax... Blue Ranger, you're so brave. I'm wondering if Jax will be Zoe's voice, maybe? Okay. Let's smash this. Yeah, this is definitely not Smash's voice. Not at all. So that one is a is a fail. All right, <laughs> let's see Jax's key. It's morphin' time. Yeah, so it is Zoe's voice. So I guess they just pick one guy voice, one girl voice. Don't forget your carrots, Yellow Ranger. I mean, they they went for it. They went for the the voice and everything. So I guess that's props to them for it. I, I don't think that's the actual one from the show, but you know, at least that one's similar. That's pretty, I don't know. Maybe that is the one. Don't forget your carrots, Yellow Ranger. I don't. I. Uh, I don't know. I'm leaning towards it not being. I think the only voice clips are of the Rangers, but that, those are close. Um, and then we have the the steel uh, key right here. We've got the code to victory. Okay. That's like nobody, that's not even Steele's voice or Nate's voice. Um, all right, anyways, enough of that. Now we get to the villain keys. And actually, I should have explained this at the beginning of the, the review early on, and I guess I didn't, so I apologize. Uh, just like the Beast X Morpher, when you insert a villain key and it can corrupt it, it can corrupt this Morpher too. So, uh, let's start with Blaze, actually. Whoops. So that's awesome because the theme song starts and then it cuts out and says a virus upload completes, uh, which is super cool. Um, now that one I also don't think is the voice of Blaze, but it, it's, it sounds similar, at least has that attitude, which is cool. So now with this inserted, the Morpher being hacked. I'm not a real human. I'm much better. Not today, Ranger. So you get those sounds. I'm the better Red Ranger. Which are same from the older Morpher. You can but that's new, and that's pretty cool. I'm not a real human. I'm much better. I'm the better Red Ranger. The Morphex is mine! Okay. Uh, as far as these sounds... All the same. Okay. But, when you uh, do the motion activation, it's different. I 
don't know whose voice that was. I'm, it sounds very like distinct and stuff, but I can't tell whose it is. So the morpher sounds hacked. And you get that voice there. So that's pretty cool. And you take it out and there it is. Uh, then, uh, I believe this is Roxy's key, so let's do that next. Um, so they use the same generic male voice for the virus upload complete, and then the generic, you know, evil, evil female voice they used before from the original Morpher for Roxy. Surrender, Ranger. So I think that's a new clip, but it is the same generic, uh, voice. Not today, Rangers. I can't help that I'm bad. I program this way. You'll never defeat me. Okay, Blaze, nobody's asking you. We're talking to Roxy right now. Right. Anyways, the rest of the stuff is all the same for all the villains as we went through. So, um, now, let's jump to the Tronic key. Virus upload complete. Tronics attack! That's cool, the Tronics attack. I, I really do like the, the interruption of the song and then that whole virus upload complete. That's cool. So I do like how, the, whereas the, the other Morpher, you got about two or three sounds. Here you get a bit more. Now granted, it is a lot of similar sounds amongst them. They're recycling a lot of sounds, but at least you get a, a bit more variety. Tronics attack. You can run, but so, you can't hide. Tronics attack seems to be the only, like, distinct one there. Then we have the one that came with the Drilltron, I think it was. Okay, I don't remember the, how the, his voice was in the show or not, but that's what it is here. <laughs> Prepare to lose, Rangers! The Morph X is mine! <laughs> I'll drill right through ya! You'll never defeat me! <laughs> Prepare to lose, Rangers! Alright, and last but not least, we have Evox. And I guess Evox doesn't do anything. No, I'm just kidding. All right, let's try it again. Virus upload complete. Nothing can stop me. Okay. Not today, Rangers. You can run, but you can't hide. Nothing can stop me. The Morph. So I guess nothing can stop me is the only. Uh, Unique sound for this key. Nothing yeah. Can stop me. So that's that. Um, granted, there are more keys that are releasing. Uh, I did mention I do have the Beast X Red Ranger and Beast X Blue Ranger. I also have the Cyber Villain Robo Blaze. Um, and I don't know if these keys are going to be any different or not, but I have the Red Ranger and Morphin Cruise B spot and Yellow Ranger and Morphin Jacks B spot. So when I do those reviews, I'm going to try the keys in both morphers so that you'll get an idea of what it sounds like in, in both. Uh, but for now, that gives you a pretty good idea of what to expect from this morpher. I think overall, again, I do like the original morpher better, um, but... You do get a couple of new sounds here, not much, but a, but a little bit of new stuff here. Uh, you do get some some actual lines from the show with Devin's voice uh, and Zoe's voice. I'm a little annoyed that they didn't include like all the Rangers. Like it's just that just it just makes it a little odd, you know. Um, but at least it's something. It's it, that's kind of nice. I do like the little snippets of the theme song they included. Uh, that's a lot of fun. 
uh, the Go Go Power Rangers part, the part when you it starts to play the music and then with a villain key and then it gets interrupted. Really, really neat stuff. So I, I do like that about it. So all, all in all, I still think it's worth picking up if you collect the Morphex keys and you want some additional sounds and stuff. I think it's it's pretty fun. Um, so that is uh, the Beast X King Morpher. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what you think. Are you going to pick this up as well? I ordered this on Amazon, so uh, it may or may not still be up there as of the posting of this video, uh, but I'm sure it'll show up at other retailers and stuff soon as well. So stay tuned for that. Beast Morpher Season 2 is going to be this year. We don't know when yet uh, as of the recording of this video, and I'm very excited uh, for the next season. I can't wait to see all this stuff in the show. So let me know your thoughts. Uh, thank you all so much. As always, make sure you're subscribed if you want to see those other Beast Morphers reviews that are coming up very soon. Thank you, take care, and I will talk to you all later. Bye!